Hi everyone, it's Crystal with Crystal Space Painting. I am excited to share with you a how to do um, a pop art makeup look. So this is a super fun look. You can do it for Halloween or any other time, just for fun, have your kids practice or practice yourself. Just It focuses on contouring lines of your face and I hope I can make it pretty simple for you. So we will get to it. First thing that I am going to use is I have some black paint. This is just face paint. You can use face paint if you have it. If you don't, that is okay. You can do um, some eyeliner or if you have anything that's black. So if you have lip liner that's black or, you know, you could even use some lipstick or if you have brow colors that are black, then you can use anything that's black. So I am going to start with my eyebrows. I don't have much of natural eyebrows, but you can just, we're just gonna color them in and we're gonna make them look a little sad because I'm gonna have this pop art person, which is me in this video, be crying just a little bit on one of the eyes. All I have on my face right now is just some foundation. You don't have to do that. I just kind of like a little set to start. So, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start coloring in my eyebrow. Get your black. If you are using face paint, you don't want the paint to be too wet. But you also want it to be creamy enough that it's easy to go. Go on the face. Or the eyebrow in this instance. I hope you all are having a lovely day. It's pretty rainy today. That's okay for us though, we really like the rain. Now that I have most of this colored in, I'm going to go to the inside part and we're gonna make like, I'm just gonna make a straight line down first and then we're gonna come in and kind of bend it down. And that's gonna give it that sad eyebrow look and we'll color it in. Sad eyebrow. Cause when you kind of, it kind of goes up like that and you get sad. As the paint dries, you might find that you need to retouch the eyebrows a little bit, which is more than okay. You can easily go in and retouch. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you um, are doing it while it's wet because at, at first everything kind of looks wet. So now I'm just going in. I'm going to color in the other eyebrow. You can make it super big and thick, or you can leave it really thin. You can be the judge on how big you want these eyebrows. So I'm going to go right here again, make a little line down right here. Connect it. And we're going to bring it down just a little bit. And color it in. And there we go. We have some eyebrows. The next thing we're going to do is um, start doing the contouring lines of your face. So we'll start with the nose. You can do a straight line right down your nose, or you can bring it to the side a little bit. I think I'm going to bring mine to the side just a little bit. I'm going to kind of start in this little nook here of your space between your eyes and your nose. The very tip of your nose. And I'm gonna go down. All the way down the nose. And kind of bring it in here at the front. I hear more rain drizzling. It's coming down some more. I'm going to get my paint a little bit more wet. I'm just using a little spray bottle with water. Super simple and easy. Alright. We'll continue on with the nose. 
you can, we're gonna go here on the crease part of your nose and make a line, little half moon shapes on each side. So we're gonna go in here. And just make a little line. These lines can be as thick or as little. As you want them. And then we'll go and do the other side. And it's okay that if they're not even, this is, um, if you look at comic books, it's, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is whenever you make your little crinkly sad face, you have these little crinkle things, I don't know, wrinkles, whatever you call them. And we're going to make a few. So, um, you can kind of. You can kind of do your, your your eyebrows and see where they naturally fall. I'm going to do one kind of going right here. Or maybe another one right here. Just little lines accentuating those sad spots. And if you want to, you can go on the other side of your nose and make some contouring lines just along the other side. Like that. Next, we'll, we'll go ahead and do the cheekbones. There's a few different ways to do this. I'll show you a couple. The first one's pretty easy. You'll just start kind of where your ear goes, where the top of your ear is, and you'll bring it down in a line kind of connecting your ear, the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. You're not going to bring the line that far, but you'll bring it and it'll just go like that. That's one super easy way. And my hair got in that a little bit. <laughs> you can go back in and fill it in. Another way you can do it is you can start more up here towards your temple area. And this kind of always reminds me of the skull look. <laughs> but you're going to be going around your cheekbone and then kind of down like that. So... I don't know what shape that would be. Oh, apparently my one of my fingers had some black on it. Whoopsie doopsie. Well, that made it even worse. <laughs> it's okay, we'll wipe it off. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna rid my fingers of black. So you'll start up here, kind of into your temple area. And you'll come down like that. Here's one way. Oh, excuse me. Okay, and now we're going to go to the jawline. You'll just start at the bottom of your ear. And you're going to bring it along, all the way along your jawline. Under your chin. And we'll go to the other side. And there. Now we have an accentuated jawline. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some lines right here where your cupid, cupid's bow is. And you're just gonna do a couple little lines down on each side and just accentuate that a little bit. 
and then you can outline your lips. This gives it that one is, gives it a pop look. Well, yeah, there you go. No, but it'll just make your lips. Going along my lip line. That looks good, huh? <laughs> And then um, we're going to make a little line right here underneath your chin, underneath your lips, for your chin right here, a little half circle shape to give that a little dip. Just like that. And next, we're going to move on to eyes. If you're using paint, you can still use paint. You just have to be careful not to get it in your eyes because it doesn't feel very good when you do get it in your eyes. I am going to switch to use some eyeliner. Look, I got paint on my finger again. Um, just because I have sensitive eyes, so I'm going to switch over to some eyeliner. And honestly, after you get the, the lines done, you don't really have to do a whole lot more you can stop here, you can leave your lips like this, you can fill it in with some red or whatever color you desire. I might go ahead and fill mine in with some red. You don't have to. It is optional. Okay, and I'm going to go in and do some eyeliner. Now, you can keep it simple and just do, you know, just outline your eye a little bit and I'll show you. <laughs> you can just keep it a little simple and do just a line. Just a very thin line going across your eye. Give it some depth. You can also bring it underneath, going going under um under your where your eyelid is. So under we're gonna outline it right here, right underneath the eyelashes, kind of where that just natural dip goes when you look down. like that really simple you can just do that you don't even have to do any of the eyeliner if you don't want to but it does give it a little bit more depth if you'd like to try it and you can get in there and go underneath your eye and do all that I'm stopping there at least on that side so that's one way just super simple easy on this side I'll do a thicker eyeliner um, and you can do that if you want to. These pop out looks are all about the lines. I'm going to bring a little wing out this way. Mm. 
so there's a winged eyeliner and you can also do a lot of these looks have a crease where your eye is and you can do that if you'd like Just kind of increase where your eye is. I'm gonna go in on this side too and do some another a line underneath here. It'll be a little bit thicker as well. I'm gonna kind of start out here. And I'm gonna bring it up and not not connect it to this, there'll be a little break. I think my eye pencil is getting out of um, eyeliner. I'm about gonna switch to my um. Oh well, works on my hand. Okay, so kind of like that. And you can even go down and draw some eyes, some fake eyelashes underneath it if you want to. Draw some little eyelashes coming out of it. If you so desire. And you can go all the way around. That's up to you. Um, let's see, and then you can also, we can bring all this down onto our neck as well. All of the contouring, I mean, and you can follow the shape of your neck. And bring it kind of like a circle, make a line there, and see, you will just kind of outline all the natural divots of your neck. You can bring it and do one kind of right here where your collarbones are. Kind of line out that way. Or you can just do a straight line if you want to. And just accentuate those. And then, you can also, if you want to, um, fill in your nose a little bit. You can do that. Just make it look more dark on the inside. If you have a sensitive nose, this kind of tickles. <laughs> Might make you sneeze. Yeah, so now your nose is kind of filled in. Giving it that darker look. Comical. And now I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do mine kind of crying. So I'm going to take a blue. I got some blue right here. Get it a little bit wet. And we'll go in and we'll make some little teardrops. I keep looking, I wanna make another crease on this side. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm just gonna follow along the line of the eyeliner. And then I'm gonna, you would probably want to use a smaller paintbrush for this. But I'm gonna make a little teardrop, bring it down. I'm gonna make another one a little bit further down, maybe a little bigger. Oh, come on, you're so sad. And then I think I'm going to do another one right over here, not connected. And I'll just make it and do a little teardrop like that. And there you go. I think I'm going to try to make it not quite even, and now I want to make it even. I'm going to make a crease on this side. There, now I have creases on both sides. Alright, and while this dries, some of the pop art looks have dots all over them. Um, you can do it all over your face and do dots if you want. You don't have to. But I'll show you a couple ways. You can use a paintbrush. I have just some red paint, face paint. Again, you don't need that. You can use just that, a Q-tip on lipstick or just anything red. If you use eyeshadow, you'll probably have to get it wet first, just so it's um, really pigmented. All right. So you can just come in here and you can make dots. If you have a stencil for this, that would make it go a lot faster, too. Mm, feel free to use that. And you can just do dots along, and that gives it kind of that poppy look. And you can do it, let's see. I think I might take it a little bit further up here. You can also use white, white dots all the way around. Filling in some of the gaps. <laughs> you can do some over here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it up here. Somewhere different on this side. some dots, give it that pop art look. There you go. All right, I probably just made that one too, my hand. I'm going to go back to the teardrops now. I'm going to outline them with some black. going all the way around just a little bit like that <laughs> now I have some white face paint partially gray on that side because I tried to use my black paintbrush without washing it off Hey, that doesn't work in case you're wondering. You should really wash it off. <laughs> and now we're just going to make some highlight lines. 
You can go as much as you want with this or you don't have to do it at all. Again, the main thing about the pop art is just getting all the contour lines. So I'm gonna go on to my, um, I'll start with the teardrops. I'm just going to make some little highlight dots. This gives it some depth. Like that. And you can go in and do some on the tops of your black lines. Um, kind of giving it some depth too. You can make a dot on your lid and give it some shine. Like that. And there. Um, you can do your underneath your eye. And highlight that a little bit. that. Actually, I won't do that side, but you can choose to do that or you don't have to. I'm going to do a little bit over here. And maybe some with my black lines down here in my neck. Just highlighting those a little bit. Here we go a little bit on top of the chin. It might be a little too thick right there for your liking, but you can do some on top of your eyebrows too. Take a little bit of it away. You can also go in and do some white dots or add to your red ones. Give it some depth there too. And there you have it. That's about it. If you want to go in and make it, if you feel like doing any fake lashes, go for it. You can do some mascara if you want to give your eyelashes some depth too. If I wouldn't, um, if you did do the white line down here to separate it, I wouldn't do the inside of your lashes, but you can just do a little bit on the tips of your bottom lashes. If you do the inside, then you'll be able to see them over the white line. And it kind of takes away from the effect. So yeah, there's some. I'll do a little bit over here on this eye. This isn't a hugely makeup intense look, so that's why it's super simple. And you don't even have to go into all the teardrops or any of that either. If you don't want to, if you want to give your, um, give it a little bit more color, you could do some eyeshadow, like a highly pigmented one. You see these a lot with like yellows or blues, prime colors. <laughs> you could do, hmm. I might do, we don't have any yellow. I'll do a little bit of yellow here. You 
you could do face paint to make it match the pigmentation of what you're already using, or you could get this wet and make it even more. Some. You could even add like a goatee, little straight line down kind of thing. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna add another one over here. There. <laughs> I think that shines. Um, you could add some. A little goatee kind of looking thing down here. I have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's about it. If you wanted to go all out, you could do some more dots all over your face if you wanted. You could bring some down, down here. You could do some dots down here. You know, just dot yourself up as much as you want. I feel like I'm. I feel like you should do some black or something. If you have wigs, you can wig it up. Normally, you would pin your hair up and you know pin curls and get it or braid it really tight down to your head. But I'm not gonna do that with this look. So I'm just throwing it up real quick. I twisted it behind my head, and I think I'm gonna put on a black wig. Hmm, we'll see how it looks with that. I might not like it, but we'll see. You never know until you try, huh? <laughs> mm, I think I want it more over to the side. Mm, what do you think about that? <laughs> Get it more out to the sides. You know, if you um, had time, you could do the big curls you kind of see in those older cartoon looks. Well, and there you have it, a pop art look. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun. I'd love to see if you followed along. I'd love to see what it looks like. And, yeah, I hope you have a fun Halloween. Oh, here's the sad, sad face. Um, but, yeah, I hope you have a great Halloween, and thank you for joining me. I'll be doing one more that will be pretty fun, so.